All right, so uh, we did part one of my uh, extreme couponing Ulta haul. We posted the video kind of going over how I use the point system. We waited and waited and waited. And for whatever reason, the first order that we placed took forever to get here. So it showed up on Tuesday and we are finally able to sit down and film and show you guys the other two parts of this haul. Now I redeemed 6,000 points, which is the equivalent of $375 at Ulta. I got a lot of sales stuff, so I probably got about $600 worth of merchandise when you look at it. There were free gifts that were great that were included. It's a lot. I was trying really hard not to spend a ton of money. So all three combined, I spent $7.24. Um, the first order, let's take a look. I, I'm gonna need to reference my phone. The first order was $3.11. Um, and then the last order, cause we did the second, we already posted the second order, which was $1.61. And then this last order was out of pocket $2.85. It's a lot, it is a wild ride. We got a lot of really great stuff, but it is definitely gonna take a hot minute. So grab some popcorn, buckle up. Let's see what I got. There is going to be no rhyme or reason to it because as you can see, it's just a mess. It's just an absolute mess. Very apropos for me as a person because it's it's a representation of my life, but it's fine. <laughs> in fact, the first order came in a box that was so large, it didn't even have like, you know, it normally says ult on the side. I was like looking, because normally I try and angle that towards the camera. It doesn't even say. They were like, wow, she ordered so, like just send it in like a, a shipping box or something. <laughs> it's bad, it's bad. Okay, so let's go. So first thing I'm gonna pull out, I don't even know. Like I was just, I went through to check everything cause I always do, I always open up boxes like this that aren't subscriptions where I'm trying to like keep it a surprise. And I go through just to make sure nothing's broken when I'm unboxing it. Cause I've done that before and it's been like very disappointing. But yeah, and I do have a funny story to tell you about part two, but we'll do that later when we start jumping into this. So I'm gonna pull out the free gifts and just set them off to the side. First thing I'm gonna show you guys, I got this little thing from Ulta. It is Ulta brand. It was the Meet Me Poolside. Um, it was $20 when I purchased it. And for spending $19.50, you got a free tote bag with some goodies in there as well. So that's why I decided to get it. It's super adorable, more adorable than I thought it was going to be, honestly. But I was devastated because literally the day I placed this order, the day after they were on sale, they had like three different sets. They were on sale for $10. But the same at the same time, the uh, the free gift is still available, but it went from spending $19.50 to $25. So I could have gotten two, but I would have had to buy something else in order to get the free gifts. So I was kind of like, what? It's a wash. But it, it it is always sad when you buy something and like the next day it's on sale and you're like, oh. I opened it up, the bag, so cute. I love it, it's so summery, I, I just, I love it. It's a good size. Um, really the reason I decided to buy this um, was for this guy. If you can't tell what he is, he is a flamingo pull flute pull flute, he's a pull flute, he's a pull float koozie for your drinks so he floats and your little can can just sit in him and float around with you. So I wanted him for the 4th of July. Of course, he didn't show up until July 7th. So, it, you know, here we are. But it also came with a really cute little neutral eyeshadow palette, which I haven't opened up yet, but it's just like a small little six color one. I really didn't buy this for the makeup, if I'm being honest. I bought it for the bag and for the pool float. I mean, yeah. Then we got a dive-in bouncy blush, which is actually a really pretty summery color. We got a Your Matte Golden bronzer and then we got a summertime lip jelly and the lip jelly is like this kind of orangey color I'm not a big fan of lip jellies because i just don't like i'm throwing things already my god I gotta, gotta get it together i just don't like the texture of lip jellies so um but it's pretty color i'm excited to test all the stuff out and just see if it's um good else's makeup is there's some stuff that i love and there's some stuff that i really feel like is just kind of like you know it, it's cheap and there's a reason it sounds terrible but it just but at the same time, like their concealer is my favorite concealer for using around my eyebrows. It's really the only one I buy. So it just kind of depends on the product. So I'm excited to test those. This is the free gift that I got with this bad boy. Giant tote bag. Comes with a little tote bag on the inside to put like, you know, little stuffs in, little stuff so they separate. You can pull them out. Almost looks like a computer bag, if you will. But um, yeah, and then and the tote bag was way bigger than I thought and super nice quality. And then inside the tote bag, you got this watermelon waves juicy gloss. And then you got some watermelon makeup remover. So yeah, I thought for 20 bucks, I was like, you know, I could have gotten it for 10. It's fine. I liked it. I liked everything I got and I liked the free gift. So cool. Let's jump into palettes now. I only have a couple palettes in this particular order. So in box number one, I bought full price the BH Cosmetics Weekend Vibes Avocado Toast and Weekend Vibes Mimosa palettes. I love BH Cosmetics. 
these particular this particular series they do where they give these like little they do these little square ones that are a different theme they always release a couple i i really love them i think they're great for traveling they always have really unique pretty colors in them and i just i'm really a huge fan of bh i think they're great for the price um, I don't know if I mentioned it, but these were both $18 and I did pick up after I bought this in the first order, I went and got the um, contour uh, or bronzing highlight palette as well. And I think I'm gonna do like a whole look just featuring this whole collection because I really like it. So we've got Avocado Toast, which is gorgeous and green. I love green eyeshadows. I, I try to wear them more often than I, I, I do, but I, I just always love the way it looks. And they've always got cute names too. We got Avocado, Lemon Pepper, Superfood, Paprika, Spicy, Hoss, uh, Guac, Extra, Holy Moly. I just love it. I love it. I love that they stay on brand with it and theme with it. And I'm a sucker for themes, so I love it. So that is our Avocado Toast one. And then we've got the Mimosa, which is a pink palette. Y'all know that I love and wear regularly my pinks, reds, and oranges. So this is what this bad boy looks like. We've got you know sunny vibes, pop, pomegranate, happy hour, bottomless, we heart brunch, busy. So still cute names, cute palette, love everything about it. Now the next palette we got, this is where the story about number two comes in. So I think I showed you guys and I mentioned in uh, order number two that one of, I got the Lottie London, Layla loves neon Ibiza palette in that one. It showed up broken because they just kind of threw it in there. It bounced around. Well, they emailed me and they said, hey, we're sending you a replacement. Replacement came and they sent it in a box and the box was like that big and there was virtually no bubble wrap in it. So naturally that one was also smashed. There's a great picture on my Instagram of both of them sitting together because I sent it to Alton. I was like, I don't really know where we go from here. And they were like, here's an $8 gift card just to basically a refund, sorry. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, what I wound up doing because it all the matte shades were fine. I wound up taking all the crushed glitter shades and just dumping them into like an old foundation, like powder foundation or setting powder bottle I had. And then um, I wound up using it and it's gorgeous. I love the formula and stuff. Um, they're not pretty because like four of the colors are smashed, but it is what it is. So. That is the backstory too. <laughs> this is the other one in the collection. It is the Londi, L Lottie London. Lottie London Layla Loves Neon Miami palette. Do you see how well they bundled it? Well, naturally it didn't show up broken because it was all bubble wrapped and safe. So, so y'all knew how to do it. You just chose not to. And that really upset me. I was like, cause the other thing is that this is an online exclusive. I would normally just take it back in store and go pick out one that wasn't broken, but I did not have that option. So I said, oh, well crap. But it's really cute, very precious. I actually like the other one better seeing them both in person, which made me a little bit sad. Um, even though I picked out this one first, but it does have a lot of really pretty shimmers in it. Um, they're a lot more muted than the other one, surprisingly enough. I know they look pretty bright, but the other one actually had a lot more like neon vibrant color. So I had hopes for it. It didn't work out that way. So here we are, but I'm still excited to try this one. Okay, so the next palette we have, this actually came from order three. I know we're bouncing around like a ping pong ball. Sorry, that's also how my brain works. It is very tiring, but we have, I wanted to do all the palettes at once. So I went ahead and grabbed him. This is our Lime Crime Venus Vivid Pressed Palette. Lime Crime does a lot of these like little mini Venuses um, cause they have the two big Venus, like the Venus XL and the Venus like XL2 or whatever they called it. I, I have two of these. Some of the ones they've released recently haven't really been my vibe, but I love this one. It has lots of pretty neon colors. I found it in the end of June. Uh, so I was like, oh, like it's perfect for like pride and all the really pretty colors will do really nice, like for making a nice rainbow look. But at that point, like by the time I got it, it was July. So it was kind of like next year maybe, or you know, whatever, or I'll do it tomorrow. I don't care, whatever. Anyway, it was on sale for $22.80. Like I said, they did have some other ones in the collection that were also on sale. I think actually for a little cheaper, like $19. But I just didn't really like them. Um, I think they're like the preludes or something. I don't know. They, I wasn't vibing them, so I was like, no, but I did want this one. So I got that one. Our third box is theme, because you guys know I always buy like in themes. Like I have like a mindset of like, oh, I want to buy concealers, and I buy like 80 of them. So this theme was foundation and concealers. So let's just jump into that. So I have never purchased anything directly from MAC ever. Um, I just haven't done it. I haven't bought anything full size from MAC, even through like Ulta or anything like that. But that being said, they were doing a pretty decent sale on their Studio Fix Fluid uh, 
foundation with the SPS 15. So I wound up getting three of them. They were on sale for like $24 a piece. I think that was like, maybe $10 off each, $8 off, something like that. Not, not quite um, half price, but really a good deal when you think about how expensive MAC normally is. They also were giving away two free gifts. If you spent uh, $40, you got a little lipstick. And then if you spent $60, you got a pretty cool little brush holder. So that's why I opted to do that. But I did pick that up. Um, I bought three of them, but I only have one with me right now, sorry. But I'm pretty excited. It looks like it's pretty close to the skin tone that I would need. Cause I was just kind of like guessing online. I was like, I think that looks right. And I'm normally pretty good, but sometimes I buy a little too light or a little too dark. This seems pretty spot on. So I'm actually excited to test it. I know everybody loves it. So I We'll see, we'll see if it works. I also, because I am cheap and I'm currently doing nothing but sitting in my house all day. I get ready, I film, and then I go to work in the middle of the night and nobody sees me and I just, I'm like a gremlin or like a cave monster or something, I don't know. So I've been buying a lot of cheaper or affordable uh, foundations that I like that are not like breaking the bank so I'm not wasting all of my good foundations. I know it sounds stupid, but it's like, if nobody's gonna see me, do I wanna use a $40 foundation or a $4 one? So that's, that's the mindset. So the Wet n Wild Photo Focus has been one of my go-tos recently. They were on sale for 407, so I bought two of them. I was, and normally they're like 699 or whatever, it's still like, it's super cheap. But I bought two of them just because I've been using them a lot and I was like, well, might as well. Next thing I got, once again, kind of going with like the cheaper, I don't like using like my Shape Tape or uh, my Julep concealers or anything like that right now because it's just, you know, I love them and they're not cheap. They're like 20 bucks, 27 bucks, whatever. So so I found the NYX uh, new Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. It was on sale for 606. And I've not tried this one before. I've used some other NYX concealers, but I did pick up two of those just to test it out. I talked about the MAC free gifts, but I didn't show you. So we got just like a little mini lipstick. That's what you got for sending 40 bucks. Cute little like MAC bullet. Pretty neutral color, kind of like an orangey brown shade. I like it. Definitely something I would wear regularly. And then this little guy who's, I'm so excited. He's going to sit in, well, when we get the house and we actually have the studio, he'll have a better spot. But right now he's just kind of sitting um, on one of my makeup displays in my room, but he's a giant Mac lipstick. And then you open it up, you put brushes in. So like, whoop, and then you just go, oh, wow. That's the wrong brush for this. Whew. Definitely the wrong brush. Anyway, that's the, that's the idea behind it with better brushes. Win. Next thing I picked up, um, I've been using a lot more like eyebrow pomades recently. That I, normally I try and use just, just brushes, but I've been really enjoying some of my older pomades. They've been working really well. So with those, I always feel like that, cause I add a little, just like a little bit of argan oil in there to give it a little bit more of an, less tacky, make it a little bit more easily. Sorry, Nikki just almost lost his phone and I got really distracted. What's gonna happen? Anyway, um, so I, he did it again. <laughs> because I put the argan oil to make it easily, more easily to spread, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say and it, my words are not working. So we're just gonna move on past that. Because of that, I like to also set it with a powder brow product. And I've been using the ABH one, the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Do you guys know they aren't cheap? I've had it for a while, so that's why I'm kind of like, whatever. But I was just perusing the sales because that's how your girl rolls. If you saw my video, that's what I normally go through and do. I found these, they are from JCat Beauty. They were, um, I think they're normally $6. They were on sale for $4.20. Ay. So they're on sale for $4.20. And I decided to pick up one in the shade sand and one in the shade hazelnut. The one in my hand is, um, this is sand, so it's a, bye. So it's a little bit lighter, um, but it was really cool because for four bucks, you got two, like the two little, the, the lightning and the darkening shade. Then you got a little mini brush, which is, you know, it's a cheap little brush, but it's pretty decent. Got like a good amount of like tightness in those bristles, which I think is really important when you're doing brows. You got a little spoolie. And then I don't use these, don't use these cause I don't think they really work, especially not for me. They did throw in three stencils too. I didn't realize we were getting stencils with them, but they were like, here you go. So I was pretty excited about that. So we bought two of those, one in, in each of the different shades. Hazelnut, um, it's the same, it's just a little bit darker. And I, I just wanted a little bit of a variety cause some days like my brows be real dark and some days they are a little bit lighter. So, you know, it just kind of depends on how the cookie crumbles that day. And I wanted to have both options. The last thing from the order three, and then we'll jump back to order one because I can't, I'm a mess. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, the last thing from order three that we paid for, I'm gonna do the free gifts at the end. I got these two little Essence lip colors. They were new releases. They were on sale. They were normally $1.99. They were on sale for $1.49. 
You guys know my strategy is to try and get as close to $125 when I'm redeeming my points as possible. Um, I normally do include, cause I, I pretty much if I can use that 350 coupon they always offer online, I do. Um, I had a lot of not prestige brand stuff in here. So using the coupon was no issue. Um, but I try and really make it so like right before the coupon, it's like $29. So that way it comes out to like 25, 50 or 125.50, like right before I need to redeem my points. Because if you don't have enough in your cart, money-wise, and you can't redeem the right amount of points, and then it's like a whole big headache thing. So I try and really come and write it there. Well, I was looking for like another dollar to throw in there, because I was at like a dollar, or it was like 124, so I was like, Fuck. So I found these, and I, I should have only gotten one, but I thought they were really cute, and they're a dollar 50. It's like, whatever, I'll, I'll throw in both. This one I used, I was hoping it, online it looked orange. It's actually really neutral. I used it the other day. It's kind of more like a brown shade, still really pretty. And then this one, this one's pink, he's pink and I love it. I was like, yes, be pink. Look at that, look at that, look at that. I'm gonna swatch him, cause I like him. Oh, hell yes. Pink, look at that, pink. Anyway, love these, so excited. I was like, and I, like I said, I use the orangey one and I really like the formula of it too. So I'm, I'm excited about those. I think those were a damn steal. Um, I don't know if they're still on sale, but even at $1.99, if they're still available, I would say like, maybe go look at that. Cause that's cheap. All right, y'all, we are in the home stretch. I promise. I'm sorry. I've been talking for so damn long. It's, if you're still with me, I love you guys. I love you. I love you. The, the first, the rest of the first part of the order was uh, skincare and eyebrow stuff. Cause I have been using a lot of eyebrow stuff that is cheaper lately. And I've been running really low. I didn't even realize how low cause I just ordered like pencils and stuff and then they were all gone. Um, in fact, I put in another order today. That's a whole nother story, but I bought a couple other like really cheap pencils. So. I did get these. These are, I, I, I don't know if I'm gonna like them or not. They're from NYX. Uh, they're the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Long Wear Brow Kits. It's like a liquid and it comes with like a brush and it's dual sided. I'm okay, so uh, the camera died. Perfect timing for me to pop that box open. So this is what it looks like. I was not expecting that, kind of crazy. But on top, you've got this nice like stable comb and then you've got like really kind of hard bristled over here to try and brush it out. And then inside you've got this nice little, kind of looks like, like a little eyeliner wand, but it's for your brows and it's to try and like go and precisely paint in the different um, lines of your brow, which I love. I, I'm always looking for that because mine always like, they're normally, I'm normally okay with them, but they do come off a little chunky sometimes. So I was like, let's try that. Let's see if I can make them look a little bit more natural. Like if I want to do like a natural look one day, I don't know. So I, I picked that up. I got two of them. They're on sale obviously, cause that's how I roll. Um, they were on sale for $5.30 for a piece. Um, yeah, so they were 50% off. They're normally $11 a piece. So I was like, let's try it. Let's see. It's got two of those. Then I picked up three brow pencils from Morphe. I honestly did not realize Morphe carried brow pencils. They were $5 and my NYX ones that I normally buy were like seven. So I bought two, I mean, I bought three of these and I bought two from NYX, spent $15 basically on each little bundle. So yeah, so we'll see how those work. Um, I got them in the shade Latte from Morphe and Taupe from NYX. Taupe is the one that I found works the best for me. Next thing I got, I had in my cart for a long, oh. Not what I was expecting. I don't know if that's right. Is that right? There's so much liquid in this. It was on super clearance and it has been on clearance for a while. So I don't know what to expect. It's a liquid eyeshadow, but it's like water. Oh no, that's what it's supposed to be. It says caution, open upright to avoid a spill. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna swatch this cause I'm very intrigued. But it's by Pop Sugar. It was on clearance, like real clearance. And it, yeah, normally $23, it was on sale for $5.75. So I had it in my um, my cart for a hot second. And I was like, let's bite the bullet and do it. Oh, it looks like nothing. Oof, that was a waste of five bucks. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know if you guys can see it. Can you see it? A little bit? A little bit, not really. Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna use him, but we're gonna, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do my damnedest. Interesting, not what I was expecting. You guys know I love my liquid eyeshadows, so I, I was really hoping for better. You live and learn, oh well. The last little thing, the last thing that we paid for, I found this on TikTok. I have seen so much about it. I have such high hopes for it. I really, I really wanna know. I got three different products from The Ordinary, which is a skincare line. Everybody says it's great. It's super affordable. I mean, full price, the hyaluronic acid was 680. Most companies are charging like 40, 50 bucks for that minimum. We've got the AHA 30% AHA plus BHA 2% peeling solution, which I thought that might be something to do um, like as a deep skincare. I always like kind of peels and stuff like that to try and go in there. I may try it tomorrow um, just to see. I also got the caffeine solution 5% plus EGCG 
uh, which was 670. So three different things. The hyaluronic acid was the thing I was most looking forward to because um, everybody says that it really does help change your skincare game. This is what it looks like. Good size, six, six dollars, seven dollars, seven, what's it called? Seven dollars, six, six eighty. Crazy, crazy, so cheap. So I'm really, I'm really excited to see how well um, these work out if they're as good as everybody claims that they are. Like I said, I have really high hopes for it, but you're never sure. Um, I had high hopes for this little guy too, and I have no idea what's gonna happen. He dried down, but he's just very not like there. Like he dried down pretty nicely, actually. He's sticky though, which I don't love. He might be a good base shade. I don't know. I don't know. Let's not worry about him right now. Y'all, I'm gonna be flat with you. We got so much more to do with these these free gifts, but I'm just gonna like speed through some of the highlights of it. So we did get, because you spent $100, you got these little guys. So with each port purchase, we got three of them. I like them, may throw them in a giveaway. I may use them for different storage things because I like bags a lot. We've got the Palm Fronds bag, which came in order three. This was the best gift in my opinion. Part of me was like, just get that every time because it was really cute. But like, why, why would I do that? It would be all the same stuff. That's crazy. So I didn't do that. But y'all, it came with a full size Juvia's Place palette. This palette retails for like at least 15 bucks and it's gorgeous. And it happened to be one, I have a lot of Juvia's Place stuff. It happened to be one I did not have. So I was like, price. So really excited. Honestly, this, this right there was worth whatever I had to pay to get it. I know that's stupid. Cause you're like, if it's like 15 bucks, can you just go like, spend 15 bucks instead of spending 85 to get the free gift. But like, then I wouldn't have the bag and the other stuff. So <laughs> big brain. It also came with like the little micellar water, their wipelets, little wipelets. We got a CeraVe cleanser. We got this giant brightening daily cleanser from Derma Doctor. It was good. This this box or this bundle was the best in my opinion. Tula skincare uh, resurfacing toner. Loved it. There's so much more in here. There's so much more, but like nobody wants to sit here and watch me talk for another 20 minutes. We've already been here for like an hour or so. Then with the Palm Fronds one, we got a lot of good stuff in this one too. There was a really nice authentic beauty concept dry shampoo, huge in size, would definitely be great for like going on trips and stuff like that. We've got the Skin & Co Polishing Micro Exfoliating Gommage, which I have gotten pretty a pretty good amount of these little sample sizes which are a decent sample size when you look at it. And I also have a full size, I think from my BoxyCharm last year. We got a little Anastasia Beverly Hills mini eyebrow uh, pencil. We've got uh, Chill Mode from Patchology, cannabis oil seed infused eye gels. Like they have some good stuff in these bags. That is really like when they do those big bags, I it is almost impossible for me not to do it. Sometimes I can resist, like especially when they're like, you gotta spend $125, whatever. That happens a lot, $175 for some of the diamond ones. These were $85 you had to spend to get them. I really liked all three of them. I redeemed a bunch of points. So really when you think about what I paid out of pocket, it was virtually nothing. So much stuff, so much talking. I am so, so sorry that I was this long winded, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Lots of great deals. Um, there's still some decent deals going on, but there's less stuff on sale because they just ended their summer sale. So I'm sure, I mean, Ulta's always good about like continuously putting stuff on sale. I did put in another two purchases today. Um, not really getting sale stuff, just getting some new stuff that I've been wanting to get. So those will be coming up and then we'll be doing some tutorials and stuff using the, the new products that we've gotten. Like I said, I definitely wanna do the BH um, review of all of the palettes together. I'm thinking like one eye for the avocado, one eye for the mimosa and then using the face palettes. You guys get to see all three of them in one shot. So having to wait for like days to see me do another one. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did give it a thumbs up, make our uh, page do a little bit better and the YouTube algorithms and it makes me feel great. It makes Nikki feel great. If you haven't subscribed, maybe do that too. Cause we'd love to have you as a dark angel family member. We're fun. Yeah. All right. Other than that, I hope you guys are having a great day and you stay girly with a dark twist.